this place where we're sitting today was the happiest place of my entire life memories. Darla Moore is one of the nation's most successful businesswomen. She made her mark in New York City, but her heart is in Lake City, where she grew up. This was my grandmother and grandfather's home. It was originally the family's home place. At that time, it was extremely rural. Um, all row crops and cotton, tobacco, corn. Uh, and they yet were educated people, which is very unusual uh, at that time, and particularly in these parts. And by that, I mean college educated. So they had a different, a little different take on the world and on life, but still very, very traditional. And I loved the activity of the farm. It was so busy all the time. But Moore set her sights beyond Lake City as she moved into her teenage years. And started to feel rebelliousness and want to see the world. I had a, as deep a desire to get out of the South as I had for anything else. After the University of South Carolina, she moved to Washington, D.C., where she worked for the Republican National Committee. The every two-year cycle of politics became um, evident to me pretty quickly that that was a pretty unstable way of living, sort of feast or famine uh, every two years. So she made a dramatic life change. I didn't know what a balance sheet was when I went to business school. So we're talking very rudimentary knowledge of what I was doing at the time, but it sounded good. I figured I'd find something to do if I got an MBA. And that she did. With her MBA from George Washington University, she began in banking. She was the first woman on the cover of Fortune magazine and was listed as one of Fortune's 50 most powerful women in business. They called her the toughest babe in business. Mm -hmm. What a moniker, right? <laughs> so what led to that? How, how did you get to that point? It was part ambition, mainly luck. Yeah, luck does play, don't, I don't underestimate the value of luck. America was in the era of the leveraged buyout. It was the most exciting place. There was not a chance in this world a female was going to be in that, play in that world. And during this time when they wouldn't let me play in the sandbox, I went into an area which was almost the opposite of what the exciting part of, of that time was. And it was, it was working with companies that were, in, that were troubled. I had developed a credibility and a product that was designed to work with companies that were bankrupt. She was also not afraid to stand up to the powerful, such as corporate raider T. Boone Pickens, when his company, Mesa Petroleum, found itself in financial trouble. One of the reasons I ended up on that cover is that deal, because I was the one that sent to Boone and said, you gotta go. After decades in New York, she began to shift her base to Lake City. In 1998, she announced a significant donation to the University of South Carolina's Business School. The Darla Moore School of Business became the first business school in the nation to be named for a woman. As part of what she calls a 30-year plan, she is now leading an effort to transform Lake City. My hope is to help reinvent what was at one time a prosperous southern small community. And to do that, she invested in the community and the popular art fields that attracts 15 to 20,000 people each year. Her latest investment is a collaboration among her foundation, Francis Marion University, Florence Darlington Tech, and school districts. And for Darla Moore, giving away money is harder than making money. The responsibility you feel towards the people you're trying to help. It's, it's a whole, it shifts your whole mentality and your whole worldview. It's because philanthropy is investing. I mean, I've invested massively in this state. It crosses my mind sometimes whether, oh boy, have I done the right thing. But that's what I mean by the, the sense of responsibility. I've invested in my hometown, in my home state, in my home college, university, in other colleges. 
I'm, I am long South Carolina. A lot of responsibility goes with that. Enjoy.